Christmas is just around the corner and some of us don't have time to shop anymore. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a macrame Polaroid hanger. This will make a perfect last minute and most memorable gift that you could ever give to your loved ones. So stay tuned! You will need two pieces of macrame cord that measures 64 centimeters approximately. Another three pieces of cord that measures approximately 183 centimeters and a piece of bead. First, you want to grab that short piece of cord and fold it in half to find the center. Then you want to grab the three longer pieces of cord and tie three reverse lark's head knots. If it's too fast for you, please go ahead and just pause the video. We are going to do two more reverse Lark's head knots. It's just Lark's head knots but reverse. <laughs> this macrame Polaroid hanger is really easy to make. It's a perfect stocking stuffer or a Christmas ornament and even a rear view mirror charm. I thought about making this for each one of my family members with a photo of my son because it's his first Christmas and also we are in the process of moving so it'll be a nice little remembrance. I'm gonna fast forward this part and I'll see you on the next step. Pin them on the cork board so it'll be easier for you to work with the cords. Or you could also tape it. We're gonna do double half inch knots for this pattern. I have numbered the cords from 1 to 6 so it'll be easier. 1 and 6 will be our support cords and 2, 3, 4, 5 will be our working cords. Place number 1 diagonally over 2 and 3. Place cord 2 over and under the support cord. Bring the working end through the loop just formed. Pull and tighten. You just made your first double half hitch knots. Do the same with cord 3. Now let's grab cord 6 diagonally over 4 and 5. And repeat the same steps we did with cords 2 and 3. Grab cord 5 and create double half inch knots. I always remember this roll over and under the support cord. Over, it's over cord 6 and then under cord 6. So now we've just created our double half inch knots. Grab cord 4 and tie another half inch knot. Now grab the two supporting cords and bring the other one on top of the other like so. Tie double half hitch knots to close it. Now let's add more double half hitch knots on the right side.
grab the support cord from the left side over to the right side, like so. And create double half inch knots to form an X. I should have tied that last piece of working cord onto that support cord but I just realized it while editing the video anyway grab a support cord and bring it diagonally over to those three cords and create double half hitch knots I hope it's making sense I'm not really sure how to explain it but I'm doing my best to be as clear as possible Continue tying double half inch knots with the remaining working cords until you reach the end. As you can see, it's looking almost like an X now, which is the pattern that we are going for. Now, if you remember that last piece of working cord I missed, grab that and bring it under the support cord and create a double half hitch knot, like so. Now bring that working cord under that support cord and create another double half inch knot. Now that we are done on that part, I've numbered the cords that we are going to work on. Two and three are going to be our support cords, and one will be the working cord. Bring the working end over and under cord two. Do the same step to complete your double half inch knots. Now grab cord three over our working cord and tie one more double half inch knots to complete our pattern. In this part, we're gonna grab our Polaroid. Isn't he so adorable? This part is a little bit tricky. So I've added a picture of the cords we're going to be working on. So bring cord 1 over and under the photo and cords 2, 3, 4, and 5. Bring it to the far right side, creating a slant and set that aside for now. Now grab cord 6 and repeat the same step. Now that both 1 and 6 are on their opposite sides, you want to adjust the cords and pull it a little bit to hold the upper part of the Polaroid. If you remember, we brought cord 6 over to the right side. Now grab it and bring it in front of the picture. Do the same with cord 1. So this is a close-up video of how it should look like in the back. I like to use a double-sided tape to secure my gathering knot. If it's too wide, fold it in half. Adjust your cords to however you want it before securing it with a tape.
Grab that other piece of 64 centimeter cord and tie a wrapping knot. Wrap around the tail four to five times. I'll link a tutorial if you're not sure how to tie a wrapping or gathering knot. Grab your bead to add a cute little detail. Bring the ends together and twist it a little bit. It's a little trick I do to easily slip cords through tiny holes like this. If it's not too much, you could also wrap the ends with a tape. Tie an overhand knot to close it. Cut the ends or leave it uneven, it's up to you. I also like to cut the extra cords from the gathering knot. Then tuck it in to make it look neat. To make it even more special, I bought gift card holders to put it in. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have suggestions or questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.